Kyle, Champions League final. Yeah. How do you feel? No, it's fantastic. It's fantastic to obviously get a chance again, you know, to represent this great club in a in a Champions League final. Um, and hopefully, you know, it can be a different outcome to what it was um, against Chelsea. Is that something that still kind of lives within you? Does it have to live within you when it's a Champions League final? Yeah, it hurts a lot. I mean, that month I went through, you know, losing a Champions League final, losing, you know, something for my national team in the Euros. Um, so it was a tough month to get to the final in both of them and lose them and both. So it's a chance that, you know, I, sometimes you don't think you're going to get again. So I'm glad that it's come round. I'm glad that I have the opportunity to put it right. Uh, and I think that this team is also glad, you know, because it's the, the least that we deserve. Is it fuel? It's got to be fuel. Uh, we've got to channel, you know, that in the right direction. Um, obviously, we know what the game is probably going to be like. They, they play with five at the back and, and it's an Italian team that's going to, you know, sit there and, and defend. But, you know, we just have to keep patient. You know, the boss has already said that this morning, that patience is key. Uh, to it that things might not always go our way they'll try and you know break up the game and stuff like that but as long as we stick to a game plan stick to the philosophy that we've had throughout the season in all the competitions hopefully that should see us um, across the line which is the most important thing for all the success you've had is this going to be the defining moment for you and this team I don't think it's a defining moment I think it's a massive moment for the club uh, and for us as players to say that this group of players that I've been involved with now for the last six years have finally got a Champions League. Do I think it defines everything? No, it doesn't because for a team to win five Premier Leagues in six years, um, to pick up four Carabao, I think I've won 13 trophies since I've been here. It's, it's not going to define what we've done as a group of players, but it's going to help. It's going to help massively to say that we've got that Champions League. And what would it mean to you personally to win it? Something that I've dreamed of. Um, you know, I'm a big admirer of the Premier League, and to pick up one Premier League was fantastic. I was, I was, ha I was happy with that. But to then go on and do five now, um, this is the one that's missing off of my list now. So, fingers crossed. Um, you know, I want to take in confidence, not arrogance, to this game. Make sure that our feet are firmly on the ground. You know, we trust in the the players that we've got around us, and you know, the team that the manager puts out, and hopefully that'll get us across the line. You've played at the highest level, club and country, for a long time, but what's the build-up like to this game? Is there a different feeling to it? I try and not look at it. I try and not look at it as anything different. I try and, obviously, embrace the emotion and embrace the game and be thankful that I'm, you know, I'm representing a great club like this in a Champions League final. But I think we just have to attack this game as we have done, you know, the 38 games in the Premier League and, you know, all the cup, all cup competitions that we've been involved in. You know, nothing changes. We trust in the process, we trust in the manager and the players around us and hopefully that will get us across the line. No one wanted to talk about the treble before the Premier League was won. No one wanted to talk about the treble after the FA, until the FA Cup was mm. won. So now the treble talks. Tell us about the mood this week in and around here and, and how close you feel you are to, to achieving, cliche phrase, sporting immortality. I think obviously when we won the Premier League, you don't want to talk about the treble because you've still got a, a very tough game at Wembley against your arch rivals, Manchester United, that are going to do everything in their power to make sure that you don't get the treble. Now, when you win that game, you, you can't, you, as you say, you can't, um, you can't beat around the bushes. It's, it's there. It's there for us to grab. Now, if we as a group of players want to go and be, you know, connected or associated with the team of Manchester United that went on and did great things you know we need to go and take this opportunity these opportunities don't come around too often um, obviously we did go and win the four English competitions when we did the formidables but we was nowhere near it in the Champions League so to finally get here in the grasp of one game of 90 plus minutes of you say immortality hopefully we can do it and we can you know kind of walk out from Istanbul with a beer in our hands, celebrating and being treble winners. Just one beer? It might be a few more. <laughs> um, Just last question. Yeah, last question. Um, you personally, back in February, March, there was a moment when you weren't getting in the first team regularly. Yeah. Now you've fought back yeah. and must be in with a shout for starting the Champions League final. Just talk to us about your season in a, in a, in a rough few words. I think it's football. I think that just sums up my season. It's football where... Um, I was playing at the start of the season, doing really well. I had a rupture in my groin, battled to get back to the World Cup, you know, within five weeks when it was meant to take me 12 weeks. Played in the World Cup, 
um, came back and then all of a sudden you're kind of not playing. Now, you just have to get your head down, which I tried to do. Um, obviously, I'm really disappointed not to be playing them games, but you, you have to show respect to your teammates that you know it's not their decision that you're not playing. It's down to the manager and what he feels is right for Manchester City. So for me, it was just about getting my head down, making sure that when I was called upon, you know, I was fit, I was ready mentally as well as physically and just show the manager what I can do. Now, hopefully, uh, come Saturday, I'm in the starting lineup. You know, personally, I want to play, obviously, in the Champions League final, but I also want to be, you know, in that starting team to make sure that I can say that I was, you know, part of the 11 that went on and did, you know, incredible things for this club.